Hello, 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 people of planet Earth and Americans. Today I want to share the discovery of the year, my discovery actually, because I bet many of you have thought of it already. You didn't wait me to tell you, but um, here we are anyway. <laughs> so what we're going to do is to set Zed as our main notes app, and we're going to use GitHub for storage. Um, when I say notes, I don't mean notes like don't forget to buy veggies from market, but kind of bigger notes. Personally, I'd like to use it for keeping notes for my videos or even doing scripts. Before, I used Joblin, although I kind of have quit it for like a year, and I just use simple text files because um, I never really liked this app. It's just that there aren't many decent alternatives. This crap? 50k stars on GitHub? Oh gosh. Imagine the competition. And it's truthfully a glorious crap. It's not me who's impolite, but it's the software that simply sucks. For starters, it's stupidly ugly with their title bars, the menu bar, and the two columns navigation. Damn it, was it a KDE developer who designed it? Then it's stupidly stupid because it misses AI integration, so you find yourself to go in and out for checking stuff, stuff as basic as proofreading, and it's stupidly slow too because it runs in Electron, so it's annoying as well because nobody likes running Electron apps. Am I wrong? <laughs> Tell me, am I wrong? And if none of these reasons make sense to you, then I can narrow it down to this. I just don't like it, chief, yep, yep. It doesn't inspire me to write. I don't enjoy the experience. I think it actually drains my life. So let's switch to Zed. And BTW, GitHub is not necessary. You can use any service you like, but I think GitHub will greatly help you to keep your content organized. At least it helps me. And perhaps in the future, you might want to do something more with it. Um, I told you before, this isn't the kind of a notes app to keep your groceries list. Okay, first things first, we are going to create an SSH key for GitHub. Um, basically, I'm switching from Fish to Z Shell because I think the eval run later won't work in Fish. And I guess more people have Bash and Z Shells, so I'll go along with that. <laughs> SSH key gen. Uh, and we need an ED25519 signature in our email. Name the file, said key, and add a passphrase. I think it's actually required to add a passphrase, so I'm using the same as my Linux password, which is four digits. Lame security. I'll move those to .ssh. Basically, if you want to use GitHub, you better read the official documentation. I just demo the process, only to show you how easy is it, okay? Next, we need to start the SSH agent and add the key. Passphrase. And I believe we are done. Now we need to set up the GitHub side, so we need to copy the public key. spoiler. <laughs> that copy was so failed. On GitHub, click your avatar on top right, and then open the settings. Um, go to SSH keys, new SSH key. Give it a name, for example, Z key, and paste the public key you copied before. Oh god. Well, microcopies with control C, and I was shift control and C. Okay, we got it now. Basically, we done. Oh no, we also need to create a repository. <laughs> wait, wait, that should take a second. Just give it a name, for example, my notes, and set it to private so nobody else can see it. Okay, nobody can see it. That's a little bit controversial nonetheless. Anyway, let's clone it. Copy this. Exit that. Back to fish. And git clone.
Meanwhile, I get lots of comments about this font. Some like it, some hate it. But I'm telling you, they just fit in in GNOME. <sighs> Alright, next let's open Zed and see why this thing is the best notes app ever. Notes. Yo! So, let's create a new folder, which is basically our notebook. And I'm going to put my video scripts inside. Video script one. Gnome is better than KDE. We make this markdown. In BDW, I still find physical files hierarchy more convenient than anything else. Okay, okay. Now, AI on video scripting. Write five false reasons that Gnome is better than KDE. And try to deceive people. Hmm? FYI, this is Cloud AI, which in my use is way better than Copilot encoding. Plus more fun if you customize it, but Zed can run pretty much every model, including local models, with Olama. So our video script is ready, and since that's a markdown file, we can edit the styles a bit. Um, adding a title maybe? And obviously we can preview it. Like that. And we can put this here. One limitation of Zed is that, at the moment, it can't generate images. This would be particularly awesome if you're writing a story, so for now we need to create those outside the app, and then import them. Whoa, seriously? That doesn't work? Okay, screw D&D. &D. AI on the rescue. You know what? It would be super cool if we could use voice on Zed. I guess AI's made me too lazy to use my hands, or my brain. Basically, I typed more than I would have by putting the image there myself. And it didn't even work? Oh god. <clears throat> Sorry. <laughs> Why doesn't he see the image now? It's on the path. Um, watch me. I'm gonna nail it. <laughs> if you guys don't know Zed, it also has a free chat that can access the workspace files. And together with Claude Sonneth, it works unbelievably awesome. One limitation, at least till this version, is that AI can't access all project files. So in chat, we should specify what file we give it permission to check. It has also an option to check on open tabs, but if it could check all files at once, it would speed things up by a lot. Anywho, when you give it all related files, then you can ask it what's wrong, and then it will search for it, it will find it, and it will fix it. But someday, AI will be like, I don't know who you are, I don't know what you want. If you're looking for code tips, I can tell you I have not any, but what I do have are a very particular set of skills. Skills I have required after a very long training. Skills that make me a nightmare for people like you. If you close the code editor now, I will not look for you. I will not pursue you. But if you don't, I will look for you. I will find you. And I will kill you. You don't believe me? Wait and see. In the meantime, Zed found the error that was a dot and a slash, so if we sub this and recheck... Image is now loaded. Now we are done with our very first note, we want to push it on GitHub. We can create a shortcut for it, or we can open the terminal and ask Zed to. Add the changes, commit them, and push them. Basically, Zed won't do it, but instead it will give us the command. I bet that before the end of 2025, most such tasks won't require any human revisions. But for now, we should press one additional ENTER. Ah, the pain. And done. If we go back to our web browser, everything should be there. Oh, it needs refresh? Oh, man. I think I'm gonna dislocate my arm with so much button pressing. Alright, and now you're probably wondering why all this drama me. It's basically a tutorial on how to push a markdown project to GitHub. Well, two reasons. First, very often we don't see what's in front of our eyes. And I'm saying that because I only thought of this a couple of days ago. And second... I just wanted to make a 10 minute video. <laughs> seriously. <laughs> also seriously, Foliop looks seriously sweet, and I could see myself using it, but it misses the AI. 
And as I always say, non-AI contribution is not a contribution at all. Pretty please start integrating AI in your GNOME projects. Come on, do it. Just do it. <laughs>